Welcome back to the second part of the eHorizon episode. And since you watched the first part, you should be familiar with the basics of the service. Collected information from the connected vehicles of the continental cloud are gathered and create a detailed map that is constantly updated and sufficient for automated driving. Can't get much better than this, can it? Well, yes it can, says Habat Halamek. And how about what more can we expect? Yeah, today I'm talking about the dynamic, dynamic functions of eHorizon. It was pretty dynamic already though. Yes, but it was just about gathering the information from the road as it is, and that pretty much is stable. So however, in reality, things change, right? Right, true. So for example, here we have a road construction with a speed limit uh, on that. Mm -hmm. Now let's take this car, which goes to across a new construction site which is now collected by this car and the information about the construction site is sent to the cloud and the information is now there. So now it's my job as the cloud of course to pass this on to the other connected vehicles, right? Correct, that's your service. There we go. Now we have that information under the hood in this car and now when this car approaches uh, that speed limit then it knows already what speed is required and approaches safely and comfortably and passes safely and comfortably also the construction site. Perfect. So what information does that car send to me? It sends as well the same information and this delivers more reliability because more cars deliver more information which delivers more reliability of the information which is sent. Okay, so more details, more information for the next vehicle. Correct. Now let's assume that this truck driver drives home. I'm the truck driver. Ah, oh, look at that. Looks good. Now this truck driver th drives a little bit too fast and loses some sand in the middle of the curve. Oh. And then drives home. He just drives home? Yes, we didn't recognize it even. Oh well, okay. But anyway, dangerous situation here. Yes, right. So. This car approaches it, doesn't know yet, and recognizes that there is some sand on a, which is a slippery road mm. and uh, experiences the slippery road. Again, this experience is sent up as information to the cloud and sent back to a motorcycle. So it not only works with cars, obviously, but also with motorcycles. I'll send the information to you. That looks like awesome. a motorcycle. Now, this motorcycle got the information and displays it to me. And so I approach this dangerous situation already knowing that, the, that there is sand on the road. I break and go around the sand very safely and pass everything without any problems and very safely. That is awesome. So not only information that is transferred from the vehicles on the road, is uh, going to the cloud, but also information from other sources like traffic light systems that transfer their information about the status of the traffic lights to the cloud. So where's the advantage though? The advantage is that, for example, if our drag driver has finally recognized that he lost his sand and is now looking ah, to get the sand back. I like your love for detail, <laughs> Heather. Uh, goes there and approaches a traffic light. Mm -hmm. Now he receives from the cloud the information about when the traffic light is going to change to green. So he has to drive at 35 kilometers per hour in order to get a green light exactly when he arrives. Mm -hmm. So he goes at 35 kilometers per hour, traffic light turns to green exactly when he approaches and he can continue to drive over it with a constant speed without braking and without stopping and saves a lot of fuel with that. That's perfect. So we have increased safety, we have increased comfort and Efficiency. Efficiency. Sounds great. And that basically wraps up this episode. E-Horizon, a big topic, yes. um, something we can look forward to. One more thing we have to do though. You know what's coming up, right? Yes. The picture. The picture with the truck driver. There we go. 
Thank you very much for your time, the information, for being here. Habat. And if you're watching now, ladies and gentlemen, you should give him a big round of applause at home. Two episodes straight away and everything we need to know about eHorizon. Tune in again next time for a new episode of The Garage. I'm looking forward to seeing you again then. Bye-bye. Goodbye. You know what? You remind me of Dennis Hopper when you have that. Dennis Hopper? <laughs> <laughs>